There's nothing that means more to me than the people that work together with me and have been part of our Hopkins family. I never think well, I've done something by myself. It's all really because of the people that I've been able to attract and work with that are really not just for the short interaction that we have working together physically, but it's a lifetime of uh, closeness with each other. The impact of the Hunterian Lab in my career was earth shattering. I just remember the feeling I had of excitement working in the lab. I remember how kind everyone was to me. And as a direct result of my experience in the lab, I became a researcher. You know, it has been an important part of my career. It was an attitude that started from the top of being kind to those beneath you, of teaching those beneath you, and instilling a passion for brain tumor research, always remembering why we were doing this, which is because there were patients dying of these diseases. How to express the Ontario lab impact in my life in few words. What can I say is that the Ontario laboratory is in my profession every day. What Dr. Brems taught us is what it means to be resilient in research, what it means to look into things look into things with your eyes to actually find something that can impact in your life, but most of all, a patient's life. I think we thought of, of the Hunterian Laboratory as such an energizing place because it was uh, full of people who were uh, excited to advance science for the purpose of serving patients as much as for the purpose of achieving the milestones of securing a grant, writing a paper, giving a presentation. I think because many of us who were in the lab were either in the process of training to be neurosurgeons, were trained neurosurgeons, or had an interest in becoming one, there was a, always a, a, a constant energy that what we were doing, someday we could also be doing in our own clinical practices. And it was a really fun group of people. The Hunterian lab did teach me the power of multidisciplinary research and care. So I myself am a medical oncologist with a focus on brain tumors. And I learned very early on how important it was to collaborate with neurosurgeons, radiation oncologists, and other specialties. And I've used that throughout my career now. I'll always be forever grateful to Dr. Brem and the, and the team there for providing me an opportunity to work there. It was a, it was a great environment. I had, uh, you know, Reed Thompson and uh, Matt Ewan, Al Sills. These guys were the neurosurgical residents who were working in the lab, and I was kind of working under them. And they they uh, had a big hand in, in training me and inspiring me. It's a great environment. And, you know, Betty Tyler was the one who kept everybody in line and, you know, really ran the show there because the residents would come through every couple of years and so forth, but she was the the, the pillar, the foundation. And uh, it was a really, you know, great, great fond memories of working there. I've never been more excited about the future of neurosurgery. I think that with technology and the way that biomedical engineering is heading and, um, and nanoengineering, that, that there will be a lot of opportunities to take advantage of those fields in neurosurgery. It's no exaggeration to say that the Hunterian lab still has an impact on what I do every day. Even though now I don't work in oncology and I work in sports and sports medicine, um, every day I'm still tasked with overseeing a large research portfolio at the NFL and in talking with researchers in a lot of different fields and all over the world. And so I go back to the skills that I learned in the Hunterian Laboratory about critically reading the literature, asking the appropriate questions, refining those questions, and really most importantly, looking for the types of research that are going to impact patient care. Now for us, if we're going to make sports safer, we've got to look for those innovations that have a chance to come on field and affect athletes in a day-to-day -day basis. So even though my field has shifted, my focus really hasn't, and it's that same set of skills that I feel like I developed in Baltimore and in the Hunterian Laboratory that I still employ every day in the job that I do now. Even if you don't have the breadth of science, but you have a narrow focus and you can make a contribution based on that, has really guided a lot of taking students and, and residents and fellows and faculty 
and saying, become the world's expert on the question that you're asking and then learn how to advance the field through that. And that excitement, I think, is, is contagious. I remember in the first uh, uh, meeting with uh, Dr. Graham, uh, when I uh, just arrived to Hopkins for uh, an interview, he described this as a candy store where I can pick up uh, and choose uh, whatever they have, and they have everything. They have the greatest platform uh, I could imagine. Also in that time, uh, my twins, uh, Noya and Itamar, uh, were little, they were just, uh, you know, three years old. There was such a great community there. We have great experience from uh, our stay in Baltimore. It's an important point that both the personality and style of uh, Hunterian with the in investigators, its way of interacting, its way of embracing colleagues from outside of the uh, immediate sphere, uh, such as, as I am, is in a sense very unique to Hawkins. How humans interact with one another, how science proceeds, how new technologies are tested and taken creatively. This is sort of the bread and butter of what uh, good medical research is all about and it leaves me with a very feeling of strong optimism for the future. A lot of our students have come out saying that, you know, it, it gave them direction, what they want to do in life. It gave them a feeling of accomplishment. You know, I, at least I tried, at least I did something. And I was eager to do something. Everyone's just always happy, <laughs> which is great. It's a really, really friendly, happy place to be. <laughs> what we really focus on is big questions that through the laboratory we can answer, and by doing so can hopefully change the world. And that excitement is what drives everybody. It's wonderful that all of our alumni stay connected and that we brag about them. Like we're very proud of our alumni. It's a very special place.